Auz billahi minash shaitani rajeem bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim So here someone has asked to share the hadith related to sectarianism Okay this hadith is found in the book Sunan ibn Majah and the hadith number is 3992 In this hadith the of bin malik narrated from the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the jews split into 71 sects one of which will be in paradise and 70 in hell so after the uh, time of musa al islam until the isa al islam there were um, around 71 sects of jews only one was on the right path and others have innovations with the in them so 70 will go to hell and one will go to paradise then the christians split into 72 sects 71 of them which will be in hell and one in paradise so in christian the number increased to 72 71 will go to hell and one will go to paradise because they are they were on the right path then the time of Prophet Muhammad came and Prophet said, I severe by the one in whose hand is my is the soul of Muhammad, my nation will split into 73 sects. So this means there will be or there are 73 sects in the Muslims. One of which will be in paradise and 72 in hell. So only one is on the true path and all others are causing disintegration among the Muslims or they are following innovations with the so first they will go to hell they will fulfill their punishment in the hellfire then after completing their punishment in the hell they will go to paradise so only one group of Muslims will go to paradise directly so the sahaba the companions of the prophet sallallahu wasallam said o oh, messenger of allah who are they prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the man body the word in arabic is al juma'a so this word has, is a broad word and there is no clear meaning for it so the next hadith clarifies the meaning of this word which is the hadith 2641 of Sunan at tirmizi In this hadith, Abdullah bin Amr narrates from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what befell the children of Israel will befall my Ummah step by step, such that if there was one who had intercourse with his mother in the open, then there would be someone from my Ummah who would do that. This sentence of having a relation with the mother i will tell you something about it at the end of this video then let's come to our question indeed the children of israel split into 72 sects and my mom will split into 73 sects so some people think that the children of israel mean only jews no the christians are also actually among the children of israel because Prophet Isa Islam was originally sent only for the children of Israel. So that religion was only for the people of Israel. But later they made changes to their religion and they made Christianity as a global religion. That's why now we see Christians all over the world. But actually it was only for the people of Israel, the children of Israel. Okay, so this hadith tells us that my ummah will split into 73 sects. All of them are in the fire except one sect. So all the sects of Muslims will go to hellfire. They will fulfill, complete their punishment in the hell. Then they will go to paradise. So, the companions of the Prophet ﷺ said, 
asked, and which is it, O Messenger of Allah? Prophet ﷺ replied, what I am upon and my companions. So basically, those Muslims who will do, who will follow what Prophet ﷺ and his companion did, they will go to paradise, all other will go to the hellfire. So, if you want to be in that group, then you need to follow the Quran and Hadith. And in order to understand Quran and Hadith, you need to learn Arabic as well. So, there are many online websites where you can learn Arabic. One of this, you can contact us. We also know many Arabic teachers. We can also assign you a teacher. You can contact us on this WhatsApp number that you see on the screen. So try to follow only Quran and Hadith if you want to be among that group which will be in paradise. And to understand Quran and Hadith, try to teach Arabic language to yourself and especially to your children as well. Then I told you that I will tell you something about this sentence that if there was one who had intercourse with his mother in the open, then there would be someone from my ummah who would do that. So if we look at the Western society, we see that they didn't introduce all, all things, everything in their society at once. Rather, they introduced these things step by step. For example, if we go back to previous time, we see that their women were not in public as they are today. So first they brought women out of their home on the name of equal rights, on the name of work, on the name of education. So first they brought women, they added the women into their economy to make their economy stronger. So their women started jobs and working with men. In the second step, they introduce the vulgar dresses, the dresses which were considered obscene or vulgar in them. They made them a common thing on the name of fashion. So now we see that even almost nude dresses are considered normal in the Western society in non-Islamic countries. So once they made vulgar dresses a common part of the society, then they started promoting adultery. Previously, adultery, adultery was a crime in almost every non-Islamic country. But now, there is a legal protection to adultery. It is not considered a bad thing anymore. So they do it openly without any hesitation. They did not stop there. If we go back to time, even at around 100 years ago, homosexuality was considered a bad thing. And almost every non-Islamic country, but they started promoting homosexuality. And now they have LGBT rights as well. So even in some countries, we are not allowed to criticize homosexual people who are allowed openly. So they protect LGBT. They may have made rights for them. And problem is this. Now the, now the LGBT, the homosexuality is a part of society. They still don't stop here. And now they are promoting sexual relationship between brothers and sisters so they are now promoting that once they will achieve that then they will start promoting the relationship between the stepson and the stepmother or the stepfather and the stepdaughter so we need to stop these things from entering our society probably when these things will become common in their society then there will be someone in um, among the Muslims as well who will do the same thing. That's why the Prophet ﷺ said, if there was one who had intercourse with his mother in open, 
then there would be someone from my ummah who would do that. May Allah protect all us, all of us from these sins. If you have any question, feel free to ask us on this WhatsApp number. See you all next time, inshallah. Ma salama.